I'm going to move my camera across the scene real slow. And you tell me how many Longhorns can you count? Okay, now I'm gonna give you my word that all nine of our heifers, our females are here. I'm gonna go back again. Look carefully. Did y'all see all nine of them? <laughs> I know it's hard. I think, how many of y'all are saying I only see six? It's because I can easily count six. I'm gonna come across one more time, you ready? Uh, those are not longhorns. Those are goats. Morning, folks. Lester here. And uh, I'm afraid we may have some issues. All of our female longhorns have walked down to the river. Tex is going crazy. He's just beside himself. And now, Jamie and I are having our coffee, and we can hear cows, like lots of them, on the other side of the river, bellowing. So I'm gonna walk down, I'll take the goats with me, and we're gonna walk down and check on our cows, make sure they're not getting anywhere near that water because we don't want them crossing over. That would be just horrible. That would be like a worst case scenario, my friends. It's a beautiful and bright, sunny morning. Oh my gosh, and the weather is perfect. It's hoodie weather. And this is the second day in a row. Come on, babies. Come on, little ones. Let's go. Come on, little ones. Oh, no. Even Danny and Ruby are coming, too. That's great. Come on, babies. Let's go. We're all going to walk down to the river and find our big cows. Um, I'm going to... You know what? Today, if you want to stick around with me, I will show you the extent of our property. Uh, I'm, I can really only walk one direction... You're very familiar with what's right here at the base of our hill. But what I've never done is taken you to the left or to the right. Jamie and I took you off to the right one time. That's been a very long time ago. But uh, we actually drove around to Mr. Kinney's property coming from the backside. The reason that we really can't walk it from here, and I don't think my cows would go over there, is because there's a very deep ravine. And even though I know the cows could probably cross that ravine, I don't think they would have a reason to. I, I don't, there would not be a reason to. You have to have a reason for, if you're an animal especially, you have to have a reason for what you're doing. And they wouldn't have a reason to cross that deep ravine when there's in fact plenty to eat here. So, some of the things that might be reasons for animals to do stuff, well, for procreation, obviously, you know, bulls and heifers, cows will, in fact, break out of a pasture. The same way when you were younger, ladies and men, you would also break a few, you'd break out of your home, of your room, climb through windows, uh, whatever it took to see that boy that you just loved so much or for you guys to see that girl that was just so darn pretty. Here comes all of my cows. Well, I feel good about this. You guys don't have to come home. You don't have to come home. I was just worried about you because I hear other cows bellowing. So I'm sitting here. I'm going to count. Okay, so looky here. Let's, let's all count. Look, one, two, three four, then five is Gracie, right? Now look you there. 
Over in the woods, you count two more. That's six and seven. Then we have Ruby and Danny makes eight and nine. So all of our cows and heifers, which means the females are here. So if you don't know, a cow is a female who's already given birth. And a heifer is a female who's never given birth. So heifer, heifer, you might can still call her a calf. Cow, heifer, <laughs> cow. I know, isn't it sad that little Gracie's a cow already? She's a cow. She don't want to be a cow. She wants to be a heifer, sweetie. Um, I don't think these cows like the fact that we have goats down here with them. And then we got a couple of more cows coming up the back. And then we got the two heifers. Hey, sweet girl, we got the two heifers in, uh, uh, well, they're also calves though, they're calves. That gets a little bit, a little bit tricky. Man, I was worried. I could hear cows bellowing off in the distance and I was a nervous wreck that y'all had run off on me. I thought y'all had run off on me. Marilyn, don't be mean to everybody. Uh, Jolene, I didn't get no loving. Jolene took off because she was being pushed from behind. These two were pushing her from behind and she didn't want to get jabbed. Guys, you don't have to leave. No one has to leave. What we're going to do is walk off in them woods over there. The same place my cows came out of. Y'all can come back. They all come running like they were in trouble. Did y'all notice that? They all come running like they were in trouble and they're not. No one's in trouble. I'm actually gonna take a little walk over here in these woods where y'all were at. You guys come with me. All right, just to give you kind of a vantage point of where we're at, we are right here on the side of the deer blind. Uh, there's the cows now where I just stood with them. This is the trail that goes down to the cabin in the woods. And we're gonna walk right through here. I've always talked about having uh, somebody come in. Now this is not a place you could bring equipment. So you can't have tractors down here, but maybe a crew of guys who could come by with some chainsaws and just clear out some of this small stuff. You know, I'm really uh, big on keeping our big trees where they're at. They're great to kind of hold your soil in place. They offer lots of shade. And they've been around for a while. And you don't want to see trees like that taken out. But all this small stuff really does prevent you from using and utilizing your land. It makes it where grass can't grow. So there's a whole lot. Now, even though our longhorns and our goats are fine on foraging, there are things that keep grass from growing to get the most out of your property. You can see how thick it is, and there's no way that much sunlight can penetrate through here. And so in saying so, it's just not ideal. For, uh, well, you can't utilize it. It's too thick. You can't drive in it. You can't, if you were a hunter, you couldn't hunt here. As a matter of fact, if you, even as a trapper, it would be very unlikely to have animals hunting through here because believe it or not, animals that hunt like coyotes, bobcats, they prefer to hunt where they can run because their strength is chasing down or utilizing the pack to in fact surround uh, their prey. Over here, if you were to run across a rabbit, let's just say you're a coyote or a bobcat, you know, and you run across a coyote, I'm sorry, a rabbit, that rabbit is going to outmaneuver you amongst all these trees and places to hide and things that can burrow itself into where you're not going to be able to catch it. That's why most trappers and hunters, they will clear out lanes that they hunt on. Now, wild hogs might come through here because they will, in fact, eat up on roots and stuff. This is the tree that extends across, which makes this the border the, of our property. I'll walk over here to the edge. I've been over here several times but uh, it scares me because I don't want to fall off. This is a huge drop off. 
you're looking at about 50 foot down into the river. And I would not want to fall off this thing. And you always wonder about, you don't know how far the ground underneath you has, how much of that has eaten away. And you put any weight on it, and all of a sudden this whole clunk of land falls off, and I'm with it. So here's a view that you've never seen before. I've never stood here and videoed for you. When I did take my trip down river last winter, I may have videoed this area and talked about this is the out the this is the property line. But in real life, this is this is ultimately a lot of wasted land here because it's just so darn heavily wooded. There's no way to access the river. We don't have a sandbar. So I do think that it might be a little bit less steep over here, but it wouldn't matter because you wouldn't want to have to try to pull your kayak or your canoe along here anyway. Hey y'all, look, that is a, a cow footprint. Those are cow tracks. Our cows have been walking through here eating. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I don't know what they eat, but what I would not want them to do is walk down here along the river and end up thinking they can swim across to get to the other side. Now, would they? Absolutely. Have we had cows cross the river at our other, uh, at, you know, I'm a survivor? Yes, they have. Just ask my dad. Back in the uh, old days, I'm going to lean on this tree here. Back in the old days, we used to have to go across the river all the time. But the good thing is over there, we could cross the river with our four-wheelers. And so if you had to cross the river after cows, you just go on the four-wheelers. Over here, though, I don't think I could cross on a four-wheeler, obviously. And uh, I might could with my Argo. But uh, it's not really something that I want to do. I don't know this land, y'all. I don't know it. In Plum Grove, I know every inch of our property. And I know most of the, the property across the river as well. Just by growing up there my whole life. But here, I've never been across this river. I don't know what's over there. I've flown my drone, so I know sort of the layout. But it looks thick. But, I'll tell you this, I can hear cows. There are cows up in there somewhere. And I think that my cows can hear those cows. Anywho, let's... uh walk ourselves on up out of here shall we i want you to notice where i'm about to come out of these woods at you remember i went into the woods right there beside the deer blind well i'm about to come out of the woods right here by the cabin the cabin in the woods Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it, y'all. I'm not gonna do it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's Halloween. I'm gonna do it. I know you wanted me to, but I would not scare you like that. <laughs> Look here. Look, there's Danny and Ruby, and they've come down to hang out and learn to forage just like the other longhorns. I know the sun glare is making it hard to see anything. They're up on that hillside. Look at those girls. Danny, 
Ruby, I'm seeing y'all. I'm seeing y'all act like real longhorns. Please be careful. Look at them. Danny, if you fall, you might hurt yourself, sweetie. There's Jolene and Gracie. There's Charlene and Mama Santiana. Look at her. Danny, what are you doing? She's going to walk down. She's coming down that hillside. And so is Ruby. Ruby's up in that brush. You can't, you can't see Ruby. She's hiding. <laughs> Here comes Danny right behind her. Oh, goodness gracious. There's some sweet girls, and I love them. Look, there's Jezebel. And what are these two doing? Uh-oh. Y'all look at the backside of Marilyn there. Y'all know what that means? That means that she's coming back into heat. So, we have to kind of make a correction on something. Last time we joked about that that right there was some cushion for the pushing marks. Sort of. We're trying to keep it Facebook and family friendly. YouTube don't care. I could say whatever I want to say on YouTube and I'm fine. Because it's YouTube. But only Facebook people get very easily offended. But uh, no. So listen. I'm going to go ahead and just say this. And I'm going to try to be as... Just hold on a minute. Sweetie, I'm making a video. Sweetie. So listen. When a cow comes into heat, sometimes they will secrete something. And as her tail swishes back and forth, it will push that secretion back and forth from side to side. So there have been no bulls over here with her. All of our bulls were on the other side of the pasture. No bulls are over here. But she is in fact in heat and that's just kind of a discharge kind of a thing. And as her tail swishes, flies, and moves back and forth, it kind of swishes it from side to side. So it's not a poopy pants. No, it's not a poopy pants. But uh, it's just letting me know as a responsible uh, rancher that I got a cow in heat. Now, what I could do is walk her over to hang out with Tex and family and uh, we're right now so here's what's happening she's in heat so she's a little bit turned on to things and since there's no bulls around she's turned her attention to poor skinny butt over there yeah she's turned her attention to, <laughs> to oh, i'm sorry i don't mean to laugh pearl and uh i hate listen i can't explain I, I am not in a position to try to explain this. Just know that to each his own. And here, we don't judge. You better run, Pearl! Yeah, she's not going to leave Pearl alone. Isn't that kind of weird how she chose Pearl, though? I'm sorry, I don't mean this in a mean way, but I do not see Pearl as a pretty cow. I don't. I do not see Pearl as a pretty cow. I think that Gracie's a pretty cow. I think that Jolene's a pretty cow. Uh, yeah, I think that Jolene and Gracie, and, 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 I'm just going to say it, I think that Jezebel is a pretty cow. Heifer. Jezebel's a heifer. Jolene's a heifer. But those are the pretty ones. You are, baby. I think you're real pretty. Hey, I will leave y'all with one question. Which of our cows or heifers or calves do you think is the prettiest? 
Bulls don't count. Leave bulls out of the conversation. No bulls here. No bulls. We're only talking about our females. Who is the best looking of our female cows? All right. That will be fun reading. Oh, could you tell me why you feel that way? Would you mind telling me why you feel the way that you do? I would love to hear that. Any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And uh, I might make a video about it. Y'all have a fun day and we will uh, catch you on the next video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.